What is up, YouTube? My fellow pipe smokers and non-pipe smokers. Beautiful day, beautiful, beautiful day in the Ozarks. Birds are chirping. Bushes are blooming. Flowers are popping out of the ground. Trees are budding. Got a red bud right next to me that's just starting to bud out. I seen in a uh, in a magazine that you can eat the the buds of a red bud as soon as they, you know, when it's budding. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I do know because I tried, but it, it's something that you would put in a salad. You know, and then put salad dressing on because it tastes like something you would put in a salad. I mean, it's not bad on its own, but I don't walk up to a red bud tree in springtime and just start munching. <laughs> anyway. Housekeeping? <laughs> I am smoking this pipe. Look at this. Look at that grain. Just look at that grain. Simon, London calling, London calling with Simon, London, Simon calling, <laughs> Osage Orange, an Osage Orange pipe, made by the bearded tamper, that's me, um, out of a block of wood that I had, I was just messing around, I wanted to do it for a while. I wanted to make one of these out of Osage Orange for a while. I looked it up, heard about it, read about it. People make them, say they smoke good. Um, it is a hard wood, you know, so um, it's not going to. I think that you might get some gurgle, so I want to be careful what I smoke in it. I don't want to smoke some heavy aromatics, which I, I kind of lean off of those anyways. I don't. I don't hit the aromatics too heavy. Uh, one, one, every once in a while, it's pretty good. And um, want to be careful, you know. I, I want to be careful what I put in here. I'm gonna try all the different tobaccos just to see, but I don't, I don't know how it's gonna smoke. I don't. I think it might gurgle much. I don't think it'll absorb much moisture. We'll see. Don't know. I wasn't able to get anything. In, in that lines of how it smoked, just the only thing that I found was, could you make it out of Osage Orange? Um, and yes, which it doesn't matter because I was going to make it anyways out of Osage Orange. I just wanted to, to see if I could get any reviews on it, see what was going on with it. Some there was some argument saying that there was it was too there was toxins in the wood. I don't know. You're you're smoking tobacco, and they're worried about the toxins in the wood. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, I like it. Love it. Love the style. I love. I like the Danish style pipes. You know, they're just too cool man I, I just and that grain the way that that Captain Cauley was saying uh, you know that a lot of times you have to remove the heart uh, or it'll crack and that's not a crack by the way that's that's just that's a piece of it um, and um, and the stem guess what that stem is I'll give you a second to guess. Doc Bravo knows exactly what that stems off of. 
Mm-mm. Mm. Thought I heard it. Say it again. Yep. You're right, Doc. Your old tobacco and liquor store, Missouri Meerschaum corn cob pipe. Like, probably the cheapest one that they make. Three dollars. Missouri Meerschaum stem. <laughs> right there. This this pipe cost me three dollars to make. <laughs> the the hole I did it all by hand uh, I didn't turn it on the lathe I sanded it by hand I used my uh, my belt and disc combo sander to take a lot of the meat off and then I had a um, well I have a three quarter inch um, it's for a pneumatic grinder you know woo -woo, and it's, you know, they're, they're like an uh, inch and a half barrels, you know, sanding barrels. And then you tighten it down, you know, compression with a big rubber compressor on it. And I used that to get in, you know, get in tight with it. And I thought I was going to have to use a Dremel, but I didn't. I didn't use a Dremel once on with this thing. Um, everything worked out good. And the drill press, I don't, surprisingly enough, I do not have a vice for the drill press so you know I cut the rough shape on the bandsaw and then I you know I just held it real tight to drill the hole <laughs> and then I drilled this first and then uh, drilled the hole and it, the Lord poured down his blessing on me when I made this pipe I uh, the holes came out perfect I have perfect. <laughs> I have no complaints whatsoever the way that this pipe came together. I mean, I, I made it, you know, in a day. I, I cut it out on the bandsaw one night, and it was hard to cut out on a bandsaw. Very hard wood. So, I cut it out. And I've had the block of wood that I wanted to build this out of for... For a couple months now. Cut it out on the table saw and, um, you know, kind of drew an outline. And then when I picked it up, this was not the outline that I drew. Um, I completely redid it. I love the Nearup pipes, the Nearup shaped pipes, you know, just the, the old Danish style pipe love the way those look I want one but now's not the time to buy any pipe unless it's a three dollar corn cob <laughs> so um, so those are out of the question but they're beautiful pipes I love them I love the big old round bowl you know with the and they, and they got they got little short stems on them I like that I like the way they look that's that's what this is modeled after. <laughs> don't you know? Don't, don't criticize me too much, but it's not an Arab. Doesn't look anything like an Arab. But in my mind, that's what I was. In the back of my mind, that's that's what you know was was coming out. Was that style? And it smokes great. I got Carter Hall in it. This is the first smoke, by the way. Got Carter Hall in it, and it's smoking Carter Hall really good, really good. Hmm. I got the stem. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> you can't see it, but I got the stem. Yeah, maybe you can from back here. You know. Drilled it several times to get the stem down in there, seats down in there. I like it. I love it. 
I want some more of it. <laughs> yeah, so um, this absolutely gorgeous pipe. It almost in the back, it almost came out. The stem almost came out in that, you know, center of that ring, that, that piece of grain. It did not. That would have been super duper cool. But what it did, it did. Like holding it up like that looks like an egg. It's calling it the Easter egg, just in time for Easter. When a celebration of Christ uh, being raised from the dead, he defeated death. Our Savior. So. Here it is, Osage Orange, Danish style egg pipe with the Missouri Meerschaum stem. You know, it was such a cheap stem that it even had seams still on it, and I filed those down and buffed it out. And that's all it is, is buffed uh, with just white diamond buffing compound. So, feels good, smokes good don't know how much I can smoke it but we're gonna give it a go and I'll build another one if I have to I'll build another one if I have to <laughs> Doc Bravo that <laughs> when he uh, the last video he did with the rock Dwayne Johnson <laughs> the people's eye they call it or he calls it whatever that Doc Bravo, love that guy, great. If you never heard of Doc Bravo, welcome to the world and go check him out. <laughs> he's he's a great dude, fantastic beard, great guy. All right, YouTube, that is it. Just wanted to show off my pipe. Um, thank you for all my subscribers. Thank you for all the support that my people my people what was that my people <laughs> have given me um and um and i appreciate everybody thank you very much guys um have a great weekend take care and enjoy life god bless <laughs>